Good morning, afternoon, evening, and night, everybody. My name is Osfrey, and we're back on World of Warcraft Legion, leveling up my Affliction Warlock, and, uh, well, we're in High Mountain now, but I think we are done. I actually had a run around off camera, uh, trying to look for the quests that I could have sworn I saw, but I have no idea where they were. So, instead, we're just gonna move on. So, first step is to head over to Dalaran, turn in all the quests over there. Probably some of the quests that we can pick up, like to go to Suramar, but we're not going to Suramar yet. Although, maybe I should. I don't know. Catgar's Discovery. Champion, please come to the Violet Citadel immediately. I have made a discovery that I would like to share with you before the Council of Six. Okay. I wonder what that's going to be. Uh, we also have a quest over here. Fizzy Liver Zapper. There's somewhere below us. I'm not too sure. Right, so either way, we're going to turn in a bunch of these quests anyway, so... Depending what, uh... Depending what Khadgar wants. While I would like to go straight to Suramar and get to the 110 stoofs, uh, I would also like to go to Valshara and, uh, get that quest chain out of the way so I can start doing that dungeon too and then just plow on straight through heroic dungeons without having to record it because at that point what's the point? At the moment the only thing that would be worth recording would be the Violet Hold but even then most people don't really care about that one anymore but anyway a good recipe list you are truly amazing Master Ozzy now let's go to work shall we? get to work Oh dear, what am I getting myself into? I can cook, but I can't really hunt, or even fish for that matter. If you bring me ing ingredients, however, I'll use them to research new recipes for you. We can start with the few fish I managed to scrounge up. You'll find them in the barrel in the back of the kitchen. Jade Serpent Guide. Jade Serpent Guide me indeed. Alright. Five fish. Wow. I give the fish Take to you, time. yes? Enjoy. And well, I just... Oh, okay. So... How does... I don't... I don't quite understand how this works. Uh. Okay, and we also. Okay, more fresh? Do I give you. What? I don't know. Don't be shy. Okay. Well, that was a thing. Alright. <laughs> Slightly confused as to how this works. Looking to buy. Uh, we've done it! With this technique, we should be able to prepare dried mackerel strips much more efficiently. I'm certain that there is much more we can learn. Keep bringing me ingredients, and I will keep the oven on. There is no oh, grown up! What is this? Complete the, op complete the quest, opening the test kitchen. Uh-huh. Bring me more ingredients, Master Ozzy. Meat, fish, blood, whatever you can find out there in the scary outdoors. I'll help you turn them into delicious dishes! Okay. Well then, I do have a bunch of stuff on me now. Enjoy. So we may as well start that. Next one. And then also start the windfowl egg. And just everything really. Big gamey big gamey ribs, yeah. And fatty bear steaks. I have a lot of stuff, don't I? Lay blood? Ugh. What's it? May the mist what? Wait, what even is lay blood? Sorry, what is that for? I don't no know. Hurry. I think we're done here anyway. You're doing basically everything that I have, so sure, let's carry on. So next step is to well, we need to deliver the pillar of creation, of course. We've been holding on to that for like two episodes now, or something. Let's deliver this one, shall we? Okay, so that leaves one final pillar of creation to locate, which is, I don't know, I seem to recall seeing something to do with the teardrops of a loon or something? I'm not sure. Archimage Khadgar has set aside a, spare, there, a space here for the Hammer of Kazgaroth, as well as the rest of the pillars of creation. We've already read that when many a times before. Set foot upon our shores. I prayed to the spirits, asking if you could be trusted. By helping to reunite our tribes, you have proven yourself a true friend to our people. 
You're welcome. Well, we have one pillar of creation left to locate. Us, oh. The hammer of Kazgaroth has always been a symbol of unity, a reminder of our proud history. But in your hands, it will serve an even greater purpose. Cool. On behalf of the tribes of High Mountain, I entrust the hammer to you and your allies. May it strike true at the heart of the enemy. Hell yeah! The spirits whisper that our fates are intertwined. My people stand ready to aid you in the war against the Legion. Okay, scouring what remains. Looking around the chamber, you know that you are well on your way to gathering all the pillars of creation, but your work is not yet complete. Your order has continued to scour the isles below for anything you might find useful. Best check in with them before embarking on once more. Blah, 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 blah. Before embarking once more. Anywho, right, so let's go see what Khadgar wants then, shall we? I imagine he probably wants to send me to Soromar, right? But I don't want to go there just yet. Nobody touch it. Not until our guest arrives. Uh huh. An arcane anomaly. I. You're not gonna want me to touch that, are you? You're gonna want me to touch that, aren't you? Hail and well met. Jack. Okay. It is very good to see you, Ozzy. Thank you for coming. Farewell, my friend. Magic Until message. We meet again. For the last 10,000 years, the elven city of Surma has been sealed in an arcane barrier, much like Dalaran once was. That barrier has come down. Since then, waves of magical energy have been emanating from the city like ripples in a pond. It is in these waves that I sense a pattern, a spell encrypted among the chaos. I have recreated that s the spell here. It's not dangerous, but beyond that, I have no idea what it does. Not any disturbance should catalyze the sequence. Just uh, give it a poke or something. Yep, I have to touch it. Ethel Kanesh. Oh. I am Thalissra of the Shaldurai. I was expecting the a explosion. First arcanist in the court of Suramar. My people have made a dire pact. One that spells doom for this world. Time is short. If you have found this message, you are capable of finding me as well. Make haste for Suramar. You may be our last hope. Well. Ithnala Kanesh. Knowledge is power. That was interesting. But using it wisely is the key. A mask a bleh. A magical message in a bottle. Slipped right beneath the Legion's nose. Clever. The Nightborn could prove powerful allies against the Legion. We must aid this the the Lysura if we can. We should be able to find her by tracking her magical echoes, the same way I found her distress call. I can teleport you near the location where she recorded that message. From there you must search for the ripples and in the very fabric of the arcane itself. My wand should do the trick. Follow the spark it, sparks it creates. They should lead you to the places where Thalysra used her magic. Well, let's say, I do want to get to Suramar, but we also have to go through another zone first. Although, we could always just throw things out of whack a little. It's not really the end of the world. Um... I'd rather get the final thing done. So we'll leave that one for the moment. I'll pick it up another time. But uh, I think rather than dawdle around a bit too much in Valshara, we're probably just going to get our hands on the world pillar as soon as we can. And well, yeah, then we'll get to Suramar. Portal, please. Thank you. So what's what options do we have now? Uh, we have a we have a more uh, we have more dungeons we can do actually. Heroic as well just requires Champion, me to have. Oh. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, the head in the crystal ball. I'm trying something new. Uh huh. Observe and reflect. Oh. I may have found a key to unlock Light's heart, Ozzy. I was going through some ancient cosmology tombs when I stumbled upon a passage indicating that the Prime Naru may have been created by Elune during the great ordering of the Light of, of Light and Shadow. <laughs> if Elune did create Zera, 
then it stands to reason that we could use the Tears of Loon to unlock the secrets of Light's heart. Now it falls upon you to recover the Tears of Loon from Valshara. For Azeroth. Alright. In fairness, I was kind of going to be doing that one anyway, but uh, that is good to know. That's quite interesting, actually. So I was right when I said this. That can't be it. Light. The light has not died. I can't wait to tell Velen that the light has not died. Just because his son has doesn't mean the light has. Oh boy. There's a lot of shit to go on, isn't there? Alright. Let's see here. We got two completed missions. Dollary dues. So we got more of these crystals, right? Yeah. Ten more empowered shards, and we also have artifact power. Hell yeah! Let's just use that one, shall we? And we have some more artifact power. Oh my goodness. I am moving away from there. Because whoever is in that fucking mechanical mount should die in a fire. Or rather, die in a free. Anyway, let's go see what these guys want. So we got Geek Geek Gigi? Gigi Gevoid? Gigi Gevoid? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, speaking of, you sell stuff. You actually sell gear which might be useful to. Oh, never mind. I had to be honored with the night fallen. Great! You cheeky fucker. You could have easily boosted my gear up, but no, of course not. What does this even look like? Let's have a look see, shall we? Boopa dooper. That looks kind of meh. Oh, actually, I can get the helmet. Oh shit, that does not look meh. That looks awesome. They're kind of weird at the same time. Interesting. God damn, that's expensive though. Oh my god. Is there even any points? Eight sets. Spending a soul shot has a chance to increase your mastery by 2,000 for 12 seconds. Fucking hell. Wow. Is this actually worth getting? I don't really know. I really don't know. Anywho. Wait, what else do you sell? There was other stuff there. Another, wait. Another Lord's Leather Armor Kit. Upgrade a piece of your Order Hall class set from item level 810 to 820. And then we have 820 to 830. And then 830 to 840. That's pretty cool. And I have a lot of them too. Well. I'm not going to buy anything just yet, but that is very tempting. Anywho, right. Gazing into oblivion. Ozzy, your wisdom and leadership inspires all in all of us. The Council of the Black Harvest is prepared to furnish you with a full set of armor to aid you in the fight against the Burning Legion. Continue expanding your influence across the Broken Isles. We may yet achieve victory. Okay. Oh, am I about to be given that helmet anyway? The Council admires your power, Ozzy. Did I just get given the helmet I was looking, I was considering buying? I, I, I did as well. That's amusing. Alright, well in that case we'll put it on. And uh, may as well upgrade it. Since we have the resources for that. Ha ha ha, cheeky bugger. Upgrade you. Twice. He's nice. Alright. So now I got a... Uh, my outfit does not look right at all. But anyway, okay, that's good to know. Uh, and what do you have for me, Ritson? I've no time for trivia. An unclaimed soul. In order to create the anchor, we'll need to link something of Shinfels to the unclaimed soul. The soul will act like a beacon, guiding Shifnel through the twisting nether and back to the Dreskar Rift. Shifnel's staff should provide us with the link we need, but the soul will be a bit harder to find. Dwelling within the Black Rook Hold is an amalgam of souls, some lost and forgotten. Killing this monstrosity should provide us with the soul we need. Very well. Okay. Good to know. And uh, now that I'm 110, actually, I can have you do some more stuff, can't I? So, what do we have? It's seven fucking days, though, to research this. Jeez, oh. Uh, right. Increase the maximum number of imps, wild imps, acolytes, and invokers you can recruit by one. Or allows you to place work orders for champion armaments or equipment in exchange for order resources. I don't. I assume I can switch these at any time, yeah? Yeah, it seems so. So I'm gonna go with the training grounds. Being able to set out more missions in one go would be quite helpful, I feel. Keep Seven fucking days, though. Hello? 
You have a weapon both ancient and powerful, and yet we barely understand it. If we truly want to unlock all of its potential, we need to learn more about it. That is a thing I can do for you. Still, it will take time, and more eyes than just mine to sift through all the history to uh, uh, translate it and turn it into something meaningful. We should prioritize some of the Order's resources towards this research. It will be worth every minute. Trust no one. Indeed. Let's continue research on my artifact then. What does this do? Begin additional research on your artifact weapons. Resulting knowledge will increase the rate at which you gain artifact power. Awesome. Alright. Three days! What the fuck? Goodbye. These things are slow as hell. Granted it is early days of the expansion, so fair enough. You don't want people to get their max artifacts too soon, do you? Very good. I'll get back to you with the results soon. Please do. I look forward to that. This is intriguing. There's so much stuff to do. Um, right, so what do I need in order to buy stu other stuff yeah, here real quick? Hang on. Uh, recruit six champions. Requires Nightfall and Honored. Defeat the final boss of eight Legion dungeons on any difficulty. Okay. Complete class order campaign. Revered with two broken isles look reputations. A thousand, one hundred thousand artifact power, sorry. Knight Fallen Exalted. Well, how are we doing on the reputation front then? Uh, let me see, we don't need Warlords of Draenor anymore, that's for sure. Nor a mist or a cataclysm. These, these just open themselves, go away. Um, I'm only, I'm honoured with, th with all three that I've come into contact with, but that's it. Fair enough. Right, let's go up here anyway. We'll upgrade my artifact a little bit. Uh, do I have any more art appearances, I wonder? That is the question. Research you. Cool. Ah, oh, we almost have enough to do it again. 875 though, Tito. We do not have enough to do any more. Fair enough. And we'll stick with the purple for the time being. Right, so still quite a lot of work to do in that regard, but anyway. Let's get ourselves down here. I didn't do anything with the scout table for one. You had that fucking asshole on his really obnoxious mount. But uh, for another, uh, I wasn't sure if I was about to pick up a quest which would require me to do more, uh, more stoofs. So, more missions is what I meant. So yeah, uh, what do we have here? Waterlogged letter. That seems like a very familiar thing that I kept on getting in fucking World of the Drainer and I never wanted. Ugh. Okay, right, so we do this. I will leave but cinders. You do that, buddy. And we'll send one of you out. I damn. Oh. That's annoying. I needed written for this. Legion. I mean, there's still 120% chance with, with uh, a Black Harvest Acolyte. So that's good at least. Uh, we'll see if that works anyway. And I assume I probably can't send out anything else. No, I don't even have enough. Never mind. We're good. Oh, what? Hey, we are not good. Totally forgot to pick the next attack point. Uh, but but dip, 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 dip. scouting map. That's what I wanted. Valshara, the final place. I saw it from Suramar. Alrighty. Archmage Khadgar has sent word about Valshara not long ago. It sounded like he has good news. The Kirintor have opened a permanent portal to Dalaran just across the hall. He'd like you to meet him on the Crisis's Landing. Funny that. It's like he almost want, always wants me to meet him there. That's what it seems like anyway. I assume the permanent portal that they're talking about is this portal here. Which, I mean, don't, I don't know why they keep mentioning it. Because, of course it would be there. What, like... Are people coming in here then using their hearthstone to exit or something? Because that just seems silly. Anyway. Look at you behind me. You're nothing. Was that a player? I don't know what that was. Who that was. Never mind. Uh, right. Oh, we have a quest over to the left as well. What's this? What is this? No, it's not. Wait. No, it's not here. Where are you? You, Camille Clayster? Clayster? Hello. You, adventurer, give us a hand. The wagon's caught fire. Okay. Blood of Sargaris. See you later. I'll keep the water buckets coming. You put out the fire. 
Okay. You are not making buckets fast enough. Oh, now it's green fire. Good day ah. you. Why is it green fire now? Why is the fire spreading? What is happening right now? Oh my god, these water elementals are not helpful. Ich. 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 Please tell me that was it. Cool, we're done. That was unexpected. Fell flames? I'd say this warrants further investigation. Yeah, probably. Oh, what's this? I've already lost two sisters to the demons. You want to investigate that cart? It's all yours. Alright, well there's a mysterious dust here. Nearly everything in the wagon was obliterated by the fire. All that remains is a small pile of dust. The cart belonged to trader Kaelin? Perhaps he knows m more about what happened. As for the dust, either the inscription traders or the alchemist traders might have some insight. Hmm, okay. Well... And the same to whoever that was. What's on your mind? She was a fine cart, she was. Kaelin wipes a tear from his beard. It, wait. Wipes a tear into his beard, sorry. <laughs> Do you, oh wait, I didn't even read what that was. What did I say? See ah! Do you know why your cart exploded into fell flames? I swear I don't know nothing about any demon flames. I was just buying and selling armor is all. Why should I believe you? I believe you. Why should I believe you? I'm just an honest trader, just looking to... Buy all the goods in the auction house, sell them back to the people at a much higher price, make my 10 million gold and go home in peace. Is that so much to ask? I know you're kind, a dirty auction house speculator. <laughs> no, I'm one of the good ones. I, I donated charity once. I hardly ever litter and I never, ever undercut. Were there any other witnesses to what happened? Fine, I believe you. Nope. Sure, my mule was there. Your mule? You've got to be kidding me. I don't know what you... I don't know why you're so intent on questioning me. I just lost my cards and everything I own. I want to believe you, but you're not making it easy for me. Wait a minute. Are you bribing me? Yes, I'm bribing you. But I spent every last copper I had on the car of full of gear. I mean it. I don't have any money to give you. Your whole story is falling apart, Kaelin. Wait, here, look. Kayla removes a pile of receipts from his pockets. See? All the stuff I bought, purchased legitimately from reputable Dalaran arms dealers. Wow. These look like counterfeit receipts. <laughs> How far does this go? Fuck me. Counterfeit receipts? Really? Okay. Uh -huh. Counterfeit receipts? Really? Let me say this out loud because I want to get it straight in my head. You're saying that I bought a bunch of demonic... Demolic something into Daryl and lit it on fire, hung it, <laughs> hung around while it burnt, and then produced a bunch of counterfeit receipts in case anybody asked me questions. I'm right about that, right? That's correct? That's what, that's your story? Yes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I spent the last, <laughs> last 11 years huddled shoulder to shoulder in a humid, smelly auction house trying to make a few silver off a crate of leather hats. I'm not some demon corrupted Avenger, I've never even seen a demon. Hell, I can't even wield the half the gear I sell. Kayla looks at you through the anguish tears. <laughs> he is, by all external signs, telling the truth. Fine, I believe you. Thanks. <laughs> what do you know about this powder? Off with you. <laughs> that wasn't in my crates. I always do a thorough investigation every time I buy every, on every, of everything I buy. <sighs> I would have noticed some glowy green stuff. Boy, that was a lot of, a lot of stupid to walk, to read through. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh God, what's wrong with me? Okay. Oh boy. Uh, right. So, either of you, wait. Where are you telling me to go? In here. Uh huh. Hey. Welcome to the scribes. Say Saslim? <laughs> Can I ask you a few questions about this powder? Powder's not really my thing, kid. I'm more of an inks and scrolls kind of guy. Now let's think through think this through logically. This powder of yours is it an ink? No. Is it a scroll? No. Are you wasting my time? Goodbye, Professor. Alrighty then. You, sir, are a prick. Okay. Uh I need to go Ooh. 
Whoa. Whoa. Is this building actually that tall? Yeah, it is. Buildings in this game are really weird. They always throw me off. Like, on the outside, they're like this size, but then you go inside and it's like, they seem bigger for some reason. And what the? Um. Why? Why? What are you? What are you doing here? I am listening. What are you doing here with a druid in its seal form in a tub? What are what? Is, I, hmm. Anyway, alchemy trainer. Speak quickly. What can you tell me about this powder? Let me see. It smells like demon fire. It has the color of demonic corruption, and it appeared in my shop only moments after screams and explosions rocked the streets of Dalaran. Are you trying to kill me, Warlock? I'm not trying to kill you. Let me rephrase. Is this dust in any way related to the smoldering body that is still lying on my shop's doorstep? Smoldering body? Yes. Get out of here. Get it out of here, then. Bring it to the Enchanter's shop. They know more about dust than I do. Oh, yeah, there is a body there as well. What? Well, he's not dead. He's very much alive. He's just asleep. See, I tried to take this to the enchanters, but it didn't want to let me. I had to go through you two first, you evil butt faces. Can I Tell me something. Uh, this powder, I think I know what it is. I had theorized its existence, but... Hey, Vanessa, you'd better come take a look at this. Cliché. Good luck, friend. I buy and trade. The substance you hold is something that we call obliterum. Okay. We had theorized its existence, but until now uh, yeah, but until now we never actually we had never actually been able to produce any. You say this came from a fire? Of course. Califaction? Califaction? I don't know. Why hadn't I thought of that th thought of it? Why haven't I, why hadn't I thought of that sooner? Jeez, oh, what is uh what's wrong with me? We need to reproduce these results before we take any further action. I know it's asking a lot, but I'll need you to get me some more high quality armor in a variety of styles. Farewell. In a variety of styles. Alright, well that sounds interesting, doesn't it? <laughs> I still cannot work out what the fuck you want from me. What? Vellums? You've not given me anything. Um. You know what? Because I'm really confused about that quest. Where is it? Uh, enchanting? Right. This thing. I'm going to abandon it. I'm going to try again. Feel free to browse. Right. You don't sell anything, no? You do not sell anything. Okay, we've confirmed that. Right. Create two enchant ring word of versatility vellums for Ildeen. You can acquire vellums from a scribe. That's what I've been looking for. Vellums from a scrib. Oh, good lord. Right, scribes. Are you guys scribes? Yes. Sell me something. Light be with you. Scribes. Looking for scribes. Me Show me stuff. No, sorry, not looking for scribes. Looking for vellums. What's a vellum? Wait, do you not sell? I have. Okay, I have to buy it off the auction house then. Back in. Whatever. Screw you all. I hate you. Right, there was another quest over here anyway. I know there was. I saw it. There you are. You're over here somewhere. Who are you and what do you want? Yo, buddy, I've got some information for you. Yo! Yo. Hey there, pal. My sources around here say you had a run-in with, with the Six Trigger Brothers. I'd imagine you're not very happy with them. Let's just say we're not exactly friends either. So I'll tell you what. How about I let you in on some intel about their current location? Maybe they might have an unfortunate accident, you follow? Oh, and bring some friends. They're not exactly the easiest of targets. Ooh. Have a good one. Now, we never talked. Got it? Sure. But I'm happy about that, because that means I get to kill those motherfucking goblins that killed those poor Torrin. 
way back in Stormheim. Holy shit balls. Oh, fucking hell. All the way over there. Alright. How many does how many does this suggest I have then? It, do, it doesn't say anything. Alright, whatever. Ugh. Whatever, 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 whatever. Let's get ourselves to Valshara and given the time we've spent far too long running around Dalaran at this point. Wait, there's a quest over there. Hold on a second. Wait, isn't the this is a quest I saw the other day actually? Is in here somewhere? Uh, whereabouts though? It's not through that grate, no. So it's in here somewhere. Hopefully, I'm not about to get ganked by Alliance. That's happened already on a different realm, to be fair, but uh, it's happened already. What is this? Experimental potions. Aha, what? Want to learn a few? Want to earn a few quick coins? I need test objects to try my newest potion. What the? Whoa, that's cool. That is cool. What just happened to you? All right. Uh, I've had several requests for vegetarian potions. You'd be surprised how many potions have meat in them. To compensate for the complete lack of carcasses in this potion, I've made a few substitutions. I hope you like crushed up bits of glass and rotten fish guts. Be careful out there. Oh shit! This happened to me too. Well, this is unusual. I like this is cool. That was really weird. Uh, fair enough. Well, let's get ourselves to Kantgar then and head over to Valshara. And we'll end the episode there. This is so weird. My hands are glowing and everything. This is weird. So what, is this what the Nightfallen Elves look like before they become Nightfallen? I assume so. We'll be meeting them soon enough, I guess. But uh, this is bizarre. This is so very strange. Well, can I mount up in this form or... Do I lose it? Please don't lose it. Hey, nice. That is cool. All right, fair enough. Weird. Gul'dan and the Legion. Uh, what? Trial of Echoes. What's this? Oh, right. That's uh, that's the Suramar stuff. Archmage Cadgar smiles. I rarely get to say this, but I have good news for you, Ozu. Where you lead, tying up loose ends. Malfury and Stormrage managed to make landfall in Valshara, and has already taken care of things there. It seems our fortune is finally turning around. He's waiting for you as we speak in Lorlithil. Life is so magical when there's when there. Life is so magical when everything goes to plan. Farewell, According to plan. Until we meet again. All right, Without not picking up that one just yet. Can't guard stop pushing that one on me. Flight to Valshara taken. How may I help? Alundane, I have urgent business in Valshara. Can you secure a flight for me? Yes, let's go. I have just the beast for this special task. Please tell me there will be a loaded screen. If there's not, I might scream. <laughs> oh, good lord. Alright. Dalaran's so pretty. Rotten egg? What? Anyway. Ah, stop doing that. Oh boy. It is nice to be 110 at last. My first 110. I've been like limiting myself to how I go about leveling up other characters. Like, I have to go through a zone on here fully. Well, not fully, but I have to go through a zone on here before I would allow myself to go through it on another character because. I want everything to be fresh for me. I want it to be new for me. I don't want to go th through it on another character and just be like, okay, we need to do this and this and this and this and this. I'd rather be flailing around like a crazy, useless person just the once and on camera. Because why not? <laughs> oh, I wish you were faster. <laughs> Where are we even flying in Valshara? Okay, so it's not that much further to go, at least. Oh, yeah, we had to go here for the... Sprite, Sprite Thorn, didn't we? I forgot about that one. 
Well, we're nearly there. Thankfully, he's speeding up a little bit. Good hip griffin. Yeah, no, it's not a griffin. It's a hippogriff. This is a hippogriff. Griffin doesn't have the horns. Okay, good to know. This looks very elven, doesn't it? Alrighty. Well, we are here. Hello, Malfurion. How might nature Illuminador, does he? Sure. We're here at last. Praise Jesus. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you've enjoyed the video so far, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, give it a thumbs down. As your favorite, share it with your friends. Comment down below with whatever you like. Subscribe if you want to get notifications of when I put up something new. I've also got some of my videos linked to the end slate coming up and the description down below. But I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!